On this part two of the Grunge Tech tutorial, we're going to use part one um, elements of it. So if you haven't done the part one one, um, just take a look at it and get something like this going because we're going to start off right from where we um, ended on part one. Now on the, for part two, we're going to cover how to apply the um, ink splatters and also just putting more dirt onto this grunge effect. As you can tell, we already got the text part down. Now we're going to add some things, elements in the background. And in order to do that, we're going to pull up another photo. Um, pulling up another photo, and we're going to just get something random. Again, flat pictures work um, the most. Um, let's like kind of try to stay away from all like the, you know, um, perspective shots. For instance, like this one doesn't really work out too well. It does, but it doesn't. Nature shots also don't work out too well. Um, but I'm going to use something really straight to the forward grunge looking thing, which is this picture of this um, wood with this cool grungy, already grungy text already literally on there. So I'm going to pull that up, select DOS, copy, close, then paste. And as, as you can see, I pasted it. Move this down. And then I'm going to desaturate this again. And then um, keep the duplicate as a backup. Now, we also want to remember to drag this down to the bottom. Um, so it's under the text and doesn't go overlap it. Now, your document should look like something like this. All these white things from before are all the layers that we've screened out. Um, it's fine. Just leave it. Now we're going to make a duplicate of this to back our original image up because we might go back to it and we're going to actually adjust this one. Again, use the legacy, control, blast, the contrast up, bl I mean, blast the contrast up, and adjust the contrast uh, along with the brightness so we have a little bit of a gray tone. Hit OK. There a lot of interesting things are starting to happen already. Now, we can always take a look to see what happens uh, when we delete the layer. Now let's try inverting it, like the previous exercise. Yeah, it's really grungy. Now, um, since the layer is on the bottom of the text, we can try putting it on the top. It doesn't really going to make a difference, but as you can tell, the text kind of disappears, um, which is not good. Um, you, but you can always easily fix that with the screen option and hitting multiply because it's black, we want the black part to show, can always work out. So for now, as I stated, we're going to put it on the bottom. Now we're going to try to delete this portion um, of the image up. And make sure that you have the same brush tip as before. Um, we're going to go over that again. Um, choose somewhere like 27, 30 of this splattering brush looking thing. Um, narrow down the diameter of the brush. Go to Shape Dynamics. Change the size jitter to 70%. Angle jitter to 50. And you should get this result. And then you can um, increase the diameter to make it bigger. Close that. And we're going to erase out parts. Now this is going to be a very tedious task, so I'm going to do it really quick. Delete that. Now we want to be careful that the text is still legible. I mean, we're creating this grunge look and, you know, we don't want to um, make it like, you know, it's very, very legible, but you still want it so the text is very li um, still legible to a certain degree. And that also depends on all your projects, of course, but on this um, project. I still want my um, domain name to still be legible. Now I'm going to again go back, delete some of the elements, make it look natural a little bit. Now we want more dirtiness up top, so we're going to go back to this original picture, duplicate, hide the first original, blast it.
change it to multiply see how that happens. I'm going to try adjusting the order of the layer to see if it makes any difference okay, maybe it didn't now as I said in the first part of the tutorial a lot of part of grunge text is um, play um, playing around experimenting so another thing that you might find yourself doing is going back to the original um, text adjustments that you did and erasing some parts to work with your new uh, texture so I'm going back in and kind of erasing it out now I'm gonna go back to the background and kind of erase some elements out and you could just hold a mouse button and just drag things around try moving it again And this is all situational but you might want to go back and add another layer with this um, mess on it so for instance I might just use this original one and try inverting it see what happens it might not work it might work now in this case I'm gonna go and try to use screen and see if that works but it's not working too well so I want to go to multiply go back to the original layer, I have to erase that part there we go now it looks even more dirtier now we're going to add some ink splatters and in order to do that we're going to create a new layer call it ink splatter and we are going to use the exact same brush tip as we used for the eraser tool but this time not the eraser we're going to use the brush and with the brush you want to use a you don't want the diameter too big so I'm gonna maybe use 46 hide it and just kinda of start with the corner of a letter and click the mouse corner of the letter again click the mouse and maybe go inside just randomly across each letter I think that's a little, you know, that's legible. F saying dreaminfinity.com. What do you guys think? Maybe not. But you guys get the idea. I mean, it's already starting to look very cool. Just splatter it across. And then another thing we want to do is create another layer, call it drip. Now, on this one, we want to use a brush that is just simple three or one pixel in size. You could keep the same shape dyna dynamics and the brush shape tip, a uh, brush tip shape. And you want to zoom in. Click once. Click the bottom with holding the shift key. Again. Now try to vary vary yourself in different sizes. I mean lengths. It. As you can see, it's kind of hard to tell right now because it's kind of really pixelated. But let's zoom out. See, it's you see like a little um, ink drip. Now I kind of did too much. I kind of over exaggerated, so I'm going to erase some. And a good part be right here. There you go. There you have it. Ink splatter and grunge text. We're not done yet. It's part three coming your way.